Hey guys, hey, Holly here, and today we are finally looking at um, one of my favorite rough pieces. Um, it's because it's just really well made, uh, and it is from Joy. So I ordered this and two others. So of the three, this is the only one that was like the best quality. Um, I mean, we can forget about the fact that it's, you know, a rep piece. If we look at it objectively, it's just a well-made bag. And, and I was surprised that I liked it. Um, and I was expecting something else, but it was actually really nice. So I had this bag. No, I didn't have this bag. I had a similar bag. I think before it was called um, the Mini HL speedy or the mini speedy hl and i mean i love that little thing um but i grew out of it um partly because at that time i was just like so in love with like big ass bags and you know like it was shoulder bags i was just like in love with that now that i've gotten older um i lean towards you know just having the bare minimum and having crossbodies and like small to medium bags so um anyways let's get into it it came in this dust bag it's drawstring and it is the Nano Speedy. I'm just gonna doop, fix this up. So, like I said, this is from Joy. Like I think, like I think it's legit. I feel as though this was like the the actual authentic bag and they sent it to me by accident or something because it really is like a one-to-one -one, a true one-to-one -one, let's just say that so i really like it um look at it like this so i purchased this um probably when did i receive this like in march the patina does have a little bit of a pinkish undertone um but i wouldn't look into it too too much because I remember my mom having a uh, authentic, authentic piece that I sold her and she thought I gave her like or sold her a, a replica because she's like oh how come my other ones didn't like patina that way and blah 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 but like it's good now <laughs> over time it will um, start to become you know like that honey or like that brown color uh, it's just the way it gets tanned and you know our natural oils so every um patina process is different for different bags but so this is again this is the nano speedy um and all of this is leather and it's like all of this sorry the, the vachetta is like nice um the canvas feels really good it feels exactly like the authentic like it's that soft one it doesn't feel at all like that plasticky canvas that um a lot of uh rep pieces do feel like um it has you know like the correct matted um like brass links and stuff like that the double or dual leather top handles um feel really nice and the top zipper of course is correct i'll do close-ups in a bit but yeah like the hardware colors are all good and yeah like it's so uh, i can't get over it it's so cute um like i said i used to have the smaller version it was actually smaller than that um and then yeah like Again, I was like so in in love with like shoulder and like big ass bags, and then now that I'm older, I want to go smaller because it's just like easier, and I don't have to like worry about like the people I'm with saying like, "Oh, you have a big bag. Can you carry this? Can you carry this?" Like, no, bitch. Like, carry your own shit. So I now I use smaller bags <laughs> for that reason. Um, but yeah, it's um, got a nice patina. The stitching is perfect, guys. And 
Yeah, so I'm gonna open it. It's stuffed. I used this once. It comes with that, whatever. And that is, oh, there, that's a good one. As you can see, like that's like the a version of the Shetta. And you can already tell. But can I get it like that? See? Um, yeah. So it looks like that on the inside. And then, there we go. But yeah, look, it's so cute. It honestly, surprisingly holds a lot of stuff. Um, I have an iPhone 7 Plus and it does fit here. You just have to kind of go on, go in it at an angle. Um, but yeah, like I just love, I just love the bag. <laughs> and um, unfortunately, even with the authentic, the, it's not, an adjustable um, strap which is kind of stupid but whatever it is what it is and it actually is the correct it probably falls um, a little bit shorter than not a whole lot but it does um, I think it is supposed to be like 22 inches um, but this one's just like under that um, I could probably cut this off and then use a different strap maybe i don't know i might um but actually they were kind enough to leave a bit there so i can probably just snip it and then yeah like that's a good two inches extra and all i need is like literally like an inch and a half um to make it like the perfect shoulder um, crossbody so i might do that but there you go and I'd probably show you guys just the dimensions so let me just pull out my phone my other phone here um so the length is supposed to be like 6.25 inches the width is supposed to be 3.75 inches height about 4.5 now i can use this so length they said was 6.25 That's a that's close enough. <laughs> Let's give or take that. And it said um, height four point five. Yep, just about. And the width three point seven five. I mean, like that's pretty close. So. Yeah, get this close here again. Looks like that. This is one piece of canvas. All right, let's do close ups. Okay, so with like anything designer, you wanna look at um, stitching details and like hardware and the like the dimensions of it and even like the weight. Um, and I found that this was like pretty true one-to-one. -one. Um, I don't know if you guys know this and I'll probably kind of school you a little bit on this. So you guys see these lines and that's actually like on most um, LV bags. So those are what we call quarter inch markers. And so the sign of a good like stitching process is that it has to be a quarter of an inch and in between, not in between, but in within that quarter inch is where we um, would stitch. And as you can see, like that is pretty perfect. Right, and like it's pretty even this double stitching is also on an authentic like 
I think I I think they sent me the authentic piece that they copy from guys seriously <laughs> just kidding um quarter inch roll let me just pull out my and that's also here so um yeah like most um artisans or makers and stuff like that will use the quarter inch rule we'll start from here and as you can see right there see and it's throughout that's not just like a detail um that is lv that's for most designers they will use a quarter inch rule and i mean lv does it because they have like this um, it's printed out that way and it's cut that way so yeah like that's pretty good Hold on. Eh. <laughs> yeah like ah oh, it's perfect so anyways so it looks like that where's the zipper the top zipper and this is supposed to be matte, and it is. And when you're looking at these things, do you guys know the rule for the T's and the O and the S? Well, sign of a good um, replica piece is if the L is half of this the O so I call this the Lotus test um, I don't know if this one I actually never checked it but let me check it before I tell you guys something else <laughs> Ooh, this one's hard to get into guys Oh my god, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> the L should be like basically half of that. But this one, honestly, take my word for it, guys. It is like good. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I think they sent me like the authentic piece. Like, what the hell, hey? And this one was from Joy. Heads up. <laughs> so I will take this off. But anyways, um, again, this is an amazing piece. I was very surprised that it, I liked it so much. Um, I had actually opened the mini pusha and there's a video on that, guys. And I just was not feeling that one. And then this one was... Actually, no, I opened the other piece. Um, it got better a little bit, but not by much. And then I opened this and it was like, wow, like she got it right like one of the three so um i definitely highly 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 recommend this piece i know it's not for everyone um but it's cute i wish i had like a daughter and then we could wear like our speedies together like that would be so cute so cute but i only have nephews i don't have kids yet sorry guys oh, so sad. Um, like i said really like it this is really nicely done um you know the granular um monogram canvas it's like perfectly granular i have oh this here oh no no this is bad this is a bad example not quite like the authentic but pretty darn close okay guys so yeah so this is the nano speedy from joy <laughs> and it's a win for her um you know this makes me want to give her another shot and you know buy other pieces um but you know guys i rely on your videos and your reviews on certain items and different sellers um so i'm like super mad that a lot of um the youtubers a few of them have gone shut down like 
for whoever has been reporting like that is ridiculous i hope that you choke on your saliva because that's not cool like honestly these videos are here to help others make informed choices and yeah so for all of y'all that got shut down and are now hopefully up and running again thank you so much for your videos because yeah um i haven't seen anyone make a video on this little cutie so i was inclined to and hopefully you guys can make that decision for yourselves if you do decide to buy this bag again um you know some of these sellers are hit and miss you know i might have gotten a good batch you might not get a good batch so that's something to look at so uh do your research um you know i'm so happy that i actually did get a good one um but this this was not cheap <laughs> um it was like a hundred 47 or something like it was as much as an actual speedy bag like i should have gotten one instead of this but i wanted this bag because you know it definitely brought some memories of when i had the mini hl like the mini speedy i thought it was so cute i loved it and then all of a sudden my taste changed in bags and then I didn't use it for a long time so I just ended up um, selling it um, for a pretty good price um, but yeah it's a fantastic piece it's a cutie patootie it does hold a lot of stuff I'll probably do a what's in my bag or what fits um, that would be something that would be nice to kind of know um, but yeah like yeah banana speedy if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing um i'd love to hear from you guys in the comments se section too so yeah see ya